From the East Tennessee Weather Center, here's your morning weather update with meteorologist Mike Witcher. It's football Friday, my friends, and the orange suit is back. Happy Friday. Sure, hope you have a great weekend. Well, the first day of fall arrives on Sunday, but it's going to be feeling like summertime yet again. Let's talk about the almanac from yesterday. We did make it to 87 degrees in Knoxville. We uh, were 93 degrees in Chattanooga, so it was a toasty one. No records. We've been much hotter in years past. 100 degrees set back in 1925 is Chattanooga's record and 98 in 1925 in Knoxville. Here's the story, though. We're going to be warming up as we head through the upcoming weekend. By the way, grab your sunglasses. You're going to need that for this forecast with this orange suit. High pressure is moving its way out into the area. We've got a northerly flow around the uh, edges of that ridge of high pressure. That may throw a couple of little disturbances our way, which may spark off a stray shower or two, kind of like what we saw yesterday. Other than that, though, not a big deal. Let's talk about our future cast for the day today because we're looking at plenty of sunshine. Now, morning dense fog along the rivers and lakes, that's going to lift. As we get past the lunch hour, we're going to see those afternoon clouds. Notice the flow in the atmosphere because high pressures to our south and west. And again, we may spark off an isolated stray shower. I don't anticipate much. I literally threw a 10% chance only for the fact that it can't rule it out, but likely not to accumulate much in the form of rain anywhere around town. So something to kind of keep in mind. So we start the morning off with temps in the 60s. By lunchtime, we'll climb to the low 80s. We'll see a few afternoon fair weather cumulus clouds developing. And look at these high temperatures. Average highs for this time of year are in the low 80s. We're going to be trending almost 10 degrees above average throughout the day. So it's going to be more of a summer-like day. At least the humidity is not too terribly high. Even by 6 o'clock, evening rush hour, we're at 87, down to 80 degrees by 8, and 75 degrees by 10 o'clock tonight. Here comes this ridge of high pressure starting to move on in. See these little disturbances, little waves? That's what could spark off an isolated stray shower. Then that moves northward as high pressure shifts in for the weekend. Here comes our next trough. This could bring us potentially some rainfall as we get into the latter part of next week and into next weekend. So we're going to be watching that storm system closely as it is going to drag a cold front through the area. So as I mentioned, we're going to keep a 10% chance of rain all the way through the weekend and the start of next week. Why? Because I can't rule out an isolated stray shower, but again, don't cancel any plans, obviously. Uh, then we'll bump those chances of rain up to a 30% Tuesday, Wednesday, as this cold front swings its way into the area. And this cold front's going to help to spark off some of those scattered showers and potentially some more unsettled weather as that low kind of lingers across the area as we get into our Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Here's Thursday morning. And again, that could be the potential for some rain showers. So as we look ahead with your Climate Prediction Center's uh, Weather Prediction Center's rainfall outlook all the way through Tuesday, not a whole lot of rainfall, but then we'll add up a little bit more. I think the majority of the rain is going to be across the Ohio Valley and the upper Midwest as we get into next Thursday. This is a seven-day stretch of rainfall, but again, subject to change, so make sure you check back in. You can do so easily with the East Tennessee Weather app. We need the rain desperately bad. Remember, the drought monitor came out yesterday, and we've got an extreme drought that's uh, picked up across uh, much of the central southern parts of the plateau, from Rockwood all the way down to Chattanooga. The uh, abnormally dry conditions has lifted northward to encompass much of the Tennessee-Kentucky border, and the moderate drought, uh, excuse me, the severe drought has picked up and started to work its way into parts of Anderson, Knox, Loudoun County, Severe, and also Monroe County. So again, we desperately need the rain. We're heading into the driest month of the year. But potentially some good news on the way. The Weather Prediction Center is also predicting the possibility of above average precipitation as we round out the month of September and head into the month of October. Keep your fingers crossed, right? We need the, we need the rain desperately bad. All right, temperature trend, more summer-like all the way through the weekend and the start of next week. As that next trough swings through, temperatures will come down back to those seasonal averages and potentially even cooler than that. So we'll see how that all plays out. And it would be brief, it'd be short-lived because again, the Climate Prediction Center is predicting the possibility of above average temperatures. So at least, hopefully, we get a little bit of rainfall. All right, if you're heading off to Oklahoma for the football game, it's gonna be a toasty one. We're talking highs in the upper 80s to low 90s, and we're looking at plenty of sunshine to work its way back in. As I mentioned, download the East Tennessee Weather app. You can stay on top of the weather forecast here in East Tennessee every single day. And I'm also raising money for the American Cancer Society. If you have it in you to, ra uh, to donate a few bucks, I do have a link on my app and online at easttnweather.com. All right. We sure hope you have a great day. Enjoy the weekend. Your next weather update is coming up today at noon. Witcher's Adventures is happening this weekend, so check it on social media about where we are headed. 
I will tell you, we're going camping. Have a great day.